I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to be talking about anxiety and acid reflux in children. So pretty much everyone knows what anxiety is, but what is acid reflux? Well that of course is when the stomach contents wash back up into the esophagus. Acid reflux does occur in children. It can be a cause of chronic cough, sometimes of asthma symptoms, certainly of chest pain or abdominal discomfort. That usually responds pretty well to medications that suppress the creation of stomach acid in the first place antihistamines like ranitidine, which is Zantac, or proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole, which is sold as um, Prilosec. I <laughs> forgot the name of it for a second. Uh, at any rate, these classes of medications do help. One question a lot of people have is, does anxiety cause gastroesophageal reflux disease? Now we do know that states of fear or anxiety may increase the creation of stomach acid. And you would think because of that, it's a clear-cut thing that anxiety causes reflux disease. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of science out there that even looks at that question, much less answers it. So if you go looking into the scientific literature, can anybody say with any real confidence or certainty, boy, this reflux disease is coming from anxiety. No, probably not, honestly. Now, we do know some things that contribute to reflux disease and can be changed to make it better. One of the most surprising ones is cigarette smoke exposure. If somebody smokes in your house and you have a child or an infant with gastroesophageal reflux, get those cigarettes out of the house. That's going to make a difference. Just like if you smoke as an adult and have reflux disease, quitting smoking should help with that as well. Caffeinated beverages will certainly make gastroesophageal reflux disease worse, so you want to cut out the Coca-Cola or the tea if that's around, or the uh, Mountain Dew, for example. Uh, having large meals, especially large meals close to bedtime, will make it worse. Fatty meals, greasy meals, those are all things that you can work on to improve gastroesophageal reflux disease. That said, can you work on the anxiety? Well, if your child's anxious, that's probably a problem that needs to be addressed regardless of how his or her stomach is doing. But will it make the stomach better? Uh, not if the problem is reflux as far as we know. Now, let's say, before we leave this topic, anxiety certainly manifests as abdominal pain in a lot of children, especially children who don't feel comfortable talking about their feelings. So whenever we're thinking about chronic abdominal pain, we are always thinking about anxiety as one of the possible causes. But can we really link it to reflux? Eh, not with any real scientific confidence. Talking about gastroesophageal reflux disease and anxiety in children, I'm Dr. David Hill.